taking a look in the offensive zone and some strategies that we can use to create offense. Here we have our three forwards right there, and we have our two defense right here at the top. And you can see here that they are in a triangle formation. That way the puck carrier always has a couple different passing options. So wherever we are in the zone, we wanna try and make those little triangles. And we'll look how things play out here. And the one thing about hockey, it's not like a sport like football where everything is uh, very planned out and the routes are very specific. Hockey is very chaotic where you have to read and react and you have to take opportunities that are in front of you and you have to make the best choice with that. So at any time during any of these routes or formations, if you can go and beat someone and try and score, you should try and do that. So here in the corner, we have somebody who is in a puck battle against the boards. One of our players, either this player or this player, has to go and help out. In this case, the net front player comes in and tries to help out to win the puck. Once they win the puck, we got to make sure that we are looking for our open teammates in the slot and or going to the net right here. You can see that there's a quick little play there for a shot on net. The other thing that we can do if you have the puck in the corner is look up to the defense person up top here. So you can pass the puck all the way up. And when this defense player gets the puck, we want them to try and shoot the puck to the net. And we have two people right here who are looking for tips, deflections, or screens. And we have this other person waiting over here in case the D doesn't like the shooting option and they want to pass it back down the wall. You are a support player down there on the wall. Looking at a cycle now, a player right here with the puck is going to skate up the boards. We call it climbing up the wall this direction. And like I said, if you have an opportunity to drive into here and shoot in a game, you take it. But in this case, we're going to say that there's no options available. And if there's no options available, the safe play on the cycle is to dump the puck down the boards. And that's when our net front player will go down and get the puck and this player will now filter down in front of the net. So it's like the players are always rotating around in a circular motion, reading and reacting off of each other. So you can see how this plays out here, just like that. And again, if this player has no options, they can dump the puck down the wall for another cycle. If they have an option to pass it up here in a game, take advantage of it. If they have the option to pass it to this player, take advantage of it or if they have the option to skate through here and take a shot on net, take advantage of that opportunity as well. Here they go back behind the net, and you can see here one of the options for a scoring chance. Sometimes there might be a puck battle, and the puck might not come up the wall, but it might go down behind the net. In this case, net front player is going to go and get it, come out the other side, and look at the different passing options that this player has on top of their ability to go in and try and score on their own. So in these situations, you have to make the best choice available to you. Sometimes it'll be doing it on your own. Sometimes it'll be passing to your teammates, but those are some of your options that you can do. Taking a look at the team in the white, I want us to watch these three players. Watch how they're constantly moving. They come up the wall. This player had no option, so he dumped it back down the wall here. This player gets it right here, and he's looking for this player jumping into open ice for a pass and a scoring chance. We'll just watch this exact same play with no interruptions. Cycles it down, climbs up the wall, finds the open player for a shot on net and a goal. We're going to watch the three players in yellow here. Watch how they are moving around, supporting the puck, trying to find time and space, little drop pass, little cutback, little cycle, goes behind the net. So we can see how they're constantly moving around, get it up to the point for a shot towards the net. And we'll just watch this play live again. Yellow jerseys, constant movement of the puck, if you don't like it, dump it back down behind the net. And we have players supporting. Get it up to the point for a shot on net. Again, through all of these, you don't have to do exactly what the coach says. These are options. You have to 
take advantage of situations that are in front of you 